last episode, we saw the number two ranked game, Instant Classic, in our entire series as Marshall loses in multiple overtimes to number seven, Troy. One of the most heartbreaking games I've ever played in the series. And here, moving forward, it's about understanding where Marshall goes from here. Let's find out. What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the series. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kimbro Plays. This is episode 39 in season three of our Marshall Dynasty here in NCAA 14 revamped. 65-59, the Troy game. They're all the way up to number five during the bye week. Marshall slides down to 17. You see the stats. It was an absolutely insane game. Super fun. We just ended up on the wrong side of it in heartbreaking fashion as we give up over 600 yards of total offense, 300 passing yards, 300 yards on the ground. So a really bad day for our defense. Both teams turn it over. But now it's time to move forward. Turn our attention to recruiting and what's left of the season. We've got a punter, an outside linebacker, and a tackle locked in in this class, which seems like it still could be a pretty good one. We've got some big recruits still on the board. Let's talk about them. Brennan Armstrong, five-star tight end, 6'7", 247, from Maryland. Probably my favorite prospect, other than Andy Johnson, that we've seen so far here in the series. He can do it all. Fantastic athlete can run, can catch, can pass block. I mean, he's got the entire skill set, and we're in the lead for him, so very excited for Armstrong. Up next on the offensive line, it's Brian Justice, a four-star, 80 overall, and look at this battle. BC, NC, Syracuse, us, Cincy. Everybody wants to get Brian Justice on campus and hopefully bring him in. We are just 700 points behind chasing these other schools, but we have an official visit on deck. Hopefully we can haul him in. Backup plan, Thomas Webb, 79 overall, a little bit more of a gym, underrated type player. We've got a slight lead for him over Cincy. A long way to go still in his recruitment, but I really like what we see from Webb, let's go ahead and get him an official visit. Get him on campus here in week 10 for this ODU game. Bring him on with Bennett, who we're trying to haul in as well. Defensively, Jermaine Johnson, four-star, 78 overall. Kind of an undersized, he's almost like a hybrid linebacker edge, but he's got a really balanced skill set. He's kind of an all-around player. And obviously, we've got to continue to get impact edge rushers and people who can make plays on the D-line. In the middle, we're getting ready to lose Eli Neal. Curtis Harris, 80 overall, plus five gym, could be the future. Not a crazy burner, but he is a sure tackler and could be the man in the run-stopping middle. Our four corners, Arnold, Watkins, Daniel, and Montgomery are still high targets for us. Arnold is the one who we are in the biggest fight with other schools for. We look in good shape for Daniels, though we have a long way to go. We're going to go ahead and try to get him scheduled for his official visit week 10. Love to see it. This ODU game shaping up to be a really, really good one. We're also going to take a look at David Watkins, 81 overall, probably the best corner of the entire group. We want to slide in there right before Alabama in week 11, see if we can lock in Watkins. Arnold has already visited, and look, it is tight between us and Penn State. We'll see how we finish up with the corners. Eric Bennett, our five-star athlete, looks like he projects to be a quarterback with that 87 throw power. I mean, he would be a game changer, but we are struggling to keep pace with Toledo. We get him on campus this week for his official visit. That's our last opportunity. We've got Lou Walker, Bell, and Johnson as options if it doesn't work out with Bennett. And as we advance forward to week 10, let's go. Jermaine Johnson, he's committed. We love to see it. We get that extra help here on the edge. We've got Watkins visiting this week. We've got Washington, the outside linebacker, who I didn't show you. We've got Curtis Harris, the middle linebacker, but Washington's the other linebacker. He's about ready to visit, and unfortunately, Eric Bennett is locked into Toledo. What a huge get. A five-star athlete like him staying close to home, going to Toledo. Grant Jordan is ready to visit. We've got a couple other guys visiting this week as the ODU game is a big one for us. And let's take a look at that matchup, ODU versus Marshall. Four and three, ODU coming into this one. A solid roster, B minus rated. They're actually pretty solid and bring in a pretty decent rushing D. And you know, our rush defense is really in trouble. So this one's going to be a tough one. We got big time prospects coming into town. 
Watkins and Daniels, the two corners, Washington, who I spoke about, the 80 overall linebacker. Let's go ahead and make a big move in front of these recruits this week. Hopefully close out this season strong. Still a lot to play for as we're still ranked in the top 15. Fuqua out of shotgun. Second and five, our first possession. Flips it out to Gamage who hits the spin cycle and it's a foot race down the sideline with the linebacker. He back shoots. Gamage trying to cut it up inside. He's already inside the 20. That's a 54 yard gain for Corey Gamage who continues to be such an impressive threat. Obviously making that transition from wide receiver to tight end, hoping to get a look at the next level. So far, so good. He's our leading receiver. He's still an impact player for us. That's a good start for the Marshall O. First and 10 for Fuqua, looking left. Great anticipation and a dart to Samuel Cook. And Marshall marches it right down the field. They are in on only three plays. And James Fuqua coming out with that great anticipation. His mid-range throw game has never been in doubt. Marshall up 7-0 as Wolf and the Old Dominion office gets it going. Flip this one out to Davis. He's got five on the screen. Second and five. Turn around. Give to Davis. Jackson takes a bad angle. Runs right past the play. Johnson able to drag him down, but not after he picks up 21. Wolf on a play action to Davis. Looking left over the middle. He finds Page. He does a nice job hauling this one in for 12. Second and 10 from about the 15. Wolf, good pocket, navigates it, flips it out to Davis, who falls forward for eight. Now a big time third and two. Wolf pump faking left. He's under pressure. He's nope. going to go down. Hayden Wolf sacked by Aiden Hubbard. We love to see it. And that's going to lead to an ODU kick. Doink. He misses it. Nothing for the ODU offense to start the game. And Troy up to number three. Fuqua. His second possession on second and 10 flips this out to Ali who fights forward for four. Now on a third and 11, a few plays later, Fuqua one-on-one -on -one coverage on the edge and it's 40 getting exposed again. Tommy Chambers up the sideline. He's at the 10-5, he's gonna score. Huge splash play from Fuqua in this offense. He's now five of five for 159 and two touchdowns. Chambers just smokes this guy at the line of scrimmage and it's just a foot race that Chambers is going to win. He's not a burner, but he's certainly faster than 40, who's either an outside linebacker or a safety. Not going to catch him. 14-0 Marshall. Wolf gets it again. Sweeping left to Blount as they try to get something going. ODU, minus one. Martin and Neal are there. Now a second and 11. A counter give. Davis fighting, fighting, breaking three tackles, and he's into space. He's got a convoy of blockers. McMillan trying to track him down. Can he get to him? He pulls him down but doesn't get him. And Davis is in for the touchdown. Are you kidding me? We did a horrible job of tackling. We know run defense is a big question mark for this Marshall defense, for this Marshall team. And... We literally let four or five guys get their hands on Davis, who just tanks through all of us, including Neil at the goal line. Seven points just like that. Can't believe it. Insane start as the Marshall run D continues to have huge holes. Got to patch things up. McDaniel on a good return. He's out across the 35, 40, 45, and gets shoved out just short of midfield. And look at this first quarter. Explosive plays all over the place. 14-7. On second and four, it's a Fuqua zone read keeper. Now a first and 10 play action. A few plays later, Fuqua under pressure. He's going to avoid a tackle. He's going to get to the edge and sneak out of bounds. Now on third and nine, just outside of the red zone. Looking right, Solano is there for the interception. The outside linebacker in coverage on game. And just ball thrown just behind and he's able to cut this one underneath. Now that's a turnover just outside of the red zone as Marshall's woes with that continue. Next possession for ODU, feeling confident. Davis has space again, there's no way. This man is gashing us 26 yards, Elijah Davis. Now second and 11, turn give to Davis, but Ja'Korian Anderson is there. Third and 11, Wolf motioning his tight end over, looking to set up the screen. Only Josh Hardiman is on the edge and he makes the play. This is a heck of a job by Hardiman fighting through all three offensive linemen, drags Davis down behind the line of scrimmage, and they got a punt. Marshall gets it again, a quick counter to Ali, fighting off a couple tackles, wiggling his way, he's got a first down. Now on first and 10, Fuqua getting outside of the pocket, he sees Keaton on the corner, he hits him on the over route, 20 yards. Now it's a third and eight, 
Fuqua looking for Keaton again, and he finds him. He's inside the 20, shoved out at the 19. Big play for Talit Keaton. Second and five for Fuqua in this offense. It's in the red zone again. Fuqua's legs, a problem. Seven yards and a first down. Now a first and goal, looking to set up the screen. We get it to Ali. He's got a few blockers, and he's going to power his way in. Nine-yard touchdown for Rasheen Ali as James Fuqua continues his hot streak. 9 of 11 to start this game and the one bad throw. This is beautifully set up. Great timing to call this one and Marshall's in for another score. Now 21-7 Marshall as they get it going to Davis again up the middle. And on second and three, the next play, Wolf looking right, Hardeman! It's the Josh Hardeman show! Are you kidding me? Look at this man, he's got space and he's gonna score this one. 28-0 as Josh Hardeman takes it back for a pick six off Hayden Wolf. What an incredible play by Hardeman. I'm going to be honest with you. This is a man coverage call from the dime package. And Hardeman playing sort of like a slot corner. He's in press coverage and then loses his man and just kind of keeps his eye in the backfield. Sees that the throw's coming his way. Undercuts the route, jumps it. And that's pick six. What a heads up play by Hardeman. 28-7 after the pick six as Davis gets it inside again. ODU's got to get something going. Under six to play. Just about six to play, and Kaufman is going to scoop this one up. Are you kidding me? Jay Kaufman on the fumble recovery, and this is Rashid Price at his best. Speed rush from his defensive tackle position. Whips the quarterback down who can't hang on, and Marshall's got the ball again. From the 25, it's an inside give to Ali, who's got huge hole, and he's up inside the 10. Fuqua looking, buying time, gonna find Bass, who spins his way down inside the five. Keaton, the motion man, gonna give it inside to Ali, and he goes in untouched. Beautifully done as two guys stay on the quarterback. Ali just gets it inside. Wolf on the next possession on first and 10. He's going to find Jennings. He gets behind Eric Love, who does track him down, but it's 38 yards for Ali Jennings. Next play, first and 10. Wolf looking left. He's going to find Kuntz, who's going to get smacked down, but he's inside the red zone. Wolf on first and 10, looking to tuck, and Kaufman's going to get to him. Sack for four yards. Now a second and 14. It's a draw to Davis, and Marshall's all over it. This time it's Andy Johnson. Big time back-to-back -back negative plays for the Marshall D. As we throw this one out to the sideline, ODU almost, Josh Hardeman almost gets his second of the day. And they line up for the kick. This one leaking right again, nope. and he just pushes it. Two missed field goals by this ODU kicker. He's having a bad day as he pushes this one wide right. 35-7, just about four to go. Samuel Cook hits the spin move, gets up field for 12. Fuqua motions Ali behind him, give it in the middle to McDaniel, and this is a really nice play by the ODU defensive line. Second and 11, straight drop for Fuqua. Under pressure, he looks to get away, and he can't. Sacked for 12, setting up a third and very, very long. Just an inside give to Ali. Looked like it might have been a face mask. ODU takes their first time out. Two incompletions, now it's a third and 10, and they go draw play. Catcher's completely napping. First down, 18 yards. As ODU looks to score before the end of the half, that one was a backbreaker. Now we live Koontz alone in the inside on the screen. He's got 12 and another first down. Now a third and eight. Wolf looking to set up the screen. Can Porter get there? He does. He's going to be just short. Setting up a very interesting fourth and one as Davis is down. They're going to do it. Fourth and one, and it's a false start. They jump early as the Marshall fans get into this one taking them out of field goal range and out of contention to go for it on fourth. They just punt it away. We opt to check it down to Ali. And that's going to be our halftime score. Marshall 35-7, helped out by a few missed field goals and a couple turnovers that were big time for Marshall's D. As we get the third quarter started, ODU with the ball. Wolf on the first play, looking left, hits Page up the sideline as he sneaks behind Mario Sanders on a big play. Good start to the half for ODU. Check down to Davis, who's back in the game. Now a few plays later, just inside the red zone, looking to go triple option. Davis is going to find just enough room. Jennings, the motion man, in the shotgun. Sweep right to him. He's got good blockers, and he's going to fall in. 11-yard touchdown for the wide receiver, Ali Jennings. Eli Neal kind of fighting through everything, is unable to make this stop. And ODU's got 14. 
Good opening drive by ODU. Samuel Cook getting the handoff. He's been dangerous with the ball on the outside. Now a third and inch is going to turn around and give to Ali, who's got room to the outside. Trucks over a cornerback. First down. Second and seven. Same play, giving right to Ali, who's going to fall forward. Third and two, Fuqua on the zone. Reed keeper, easy money. Looking for more yards. Get pinched and fumbles. McDuffie from ODU jumps on this one. Very awkward play as Fuqua trying to get a little bit more yards. Gets kind of sandwiched in there and just loses it. And ODU's going to scoop it up, and they're back in business. Second and five as ODU's momentum is all their way as this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. Next play, third and five, Wolf. Deep drop, well protected, throwing over the middle. It's Bly who catches this one right in front of Jackson who wouldn't animate up to go save this ball. First and 10. Nope. This time it's Mario Sanders and good man coverage in phase swats this one down. Second and 10, Wolf looking over the middle. He finds Coons. Jackson can't make the play. He's got the first down. Now a counter to Davis on second and six who's got a lot of yards. Second and goal, empty. Pressure coming. Wolf nope. can't get rid of it. He's sacked. Big time sack by Elijah Alston. That sets up a big third and goal. They'd opt to go with the draw. Hardeman's all over it. Going to be fourth and long. And instead of going for it down here, they're just going to take their points. 35-17. Fuqua motions. Ali into the backfield and keeps it for himself. He's going to break a tackle. He's got some space running very strangely. Holding the ball out weirdly, but 49 yards. I'll take it. Big time play by Fuqua when we needed it. And the very next one, he hits Gamage on the corner out. 23-yard touchdown for Corey Gamage. Fuqua's fourth passing touchdown on the day as he's up over 240. Marshall's fired up, 42-17. Second and nine on the next possession. Finding Koontz again, who's been really tough for us to cover. Wolf, shotgun. We only bring two. Decide to drop into the zone, but he's going to scramble for the first. Now a draw play to Davis on the next nope. one, but we're all over that, Eli Neal. Third and four. Well protected again, and oh no, it's a breakdown. Mario Sanders lets a man behind him. It's Isaiah Page, 47-yard touchdown, and I can tell you what, he's supposed to be right there with him, and he just stops his feet, and it's all over. Marshall gives up another big play through the air. Now it's 42-24 as we find Giant Bass on a key third down. Second and 10. Flipping this one out to Hagler on the corner route. The big tight end rumbles for 27. This is really well done. Hagler, always the TE2, but he makes plays when he gets in there. Has just enough speed, enough power. It's first down. Second and four, counter goes to Ali. Breaks a tackle. Fighting forward, he's got the first. Under seven minutes to go in the fourth. Fuqua under pressure on first and 10, and that's a sack for 10. Horrible pass protection by the Marshall offensive line. It sets us up with a third and 20. Fuqua's got nowhere to go. He tries to push forward for five. And that's going to bring out our boy Kevin Hayes, who smacks this one. He's perfect dead center. And a studio update as we look here in the fourth quarter. This is a final in Miami. The Hurricanes upsetting Florida State 31-27. That's a heck of a matchup down in Florida. Next possession for ODU. Second and eight over the middle. It's Harvey bouncing off a few tacklers. First down. Wolf in the shotgun again. Standing well protected. Lobbing to the sideline. Eric Love should have had the INT. Good job by the corner. Wolf with the second and ten. Now looking to tuck and he's got space. We do a poor job containing. Hardeman misses on the hit stick. Martin does eventually get there, but that's a big game for Hayden Wolf. Across midfield, Wolf well protected, absolutely all day. Flips this one to McCoy underneath, who's got 10. Now a second and inches. It's a draw play, but Hubbard is there. Going fast, third and one, and it's another breakdown for the Marshall secondary. Koontz on the 30-yard reception. He's in for six as Hayden Wolf goes over 300 yards. Sanders was supposed to be in man coverage with the guy on the edge, and he just runs across the field for some reason. One side kick on the next play. Clemens is going to scoop this one up. Marshall up 14. That's going to be big for them to cover this on side. It's a three-minute mark. First and 10 as we try to chew a little bit of clock. Ali pounding forward at the two-minute mark. Timeout ODU. A little triple option keeper. Fuqua holding on to it. Flips it late to Cook. He's at the 10 and the 5. He's going to get tracked down right about the 2. That's a really well done triple option as Samuel Cook continues to be dangerous as a runner today. Second and goal. Fuqua on the zone read keeper. He's going to punch it in. Minute and 50 left to go. 
Marshall takes a 52-31 lead as Fuqua finishes this one with his feet. Wolf on the very next possession. It's flipped. Eli Neal is there. That's a heck of a play by an instinctual senior linebacker. Wolf's second interception on the day, and this is just really well read. He sees this ball coming on the slant, and he's all over it. And that ends up being the last play. Marshall able to wind down the clock from there. Fuqua, 280 yards, passing 86 yards on the ground, five total touchdowns. He has a spectacular day. Marshall gets the win. 52-31 again is our final 18 first downs for each team. Marshall wins the rushing battle 247-226, but loses the passing battle 328-280. to Somehow, we're able to <laughs> not give up as many turnovers as we force three of them. And here are our players of the game. James Fuqua, 280 yards in the air, 86 yards on the ground, five total touchdowns. Ali does what he does, a tackle for loss, an interception and six tackles. Elijah Davis, huge, that big run at the start of the game, goes for 193 and a touchdown. And then Sequoia McDuffie, three tackles, a tackle for loss, a sack, and a fumble recovery. He was an impact player as the Marshall offensive line continues to struggle. As we advance forward to week 11 against UAB, let's take a look. Defensive coordinator Anthony Palmer now is up to a level four and is ready for an update and big news on the trail. We continue to battle for ben Brennan Armstrong, but we get David Watkins, our number one corner on the board. We get him to sign. He's locked in. We're now in a battle for Harris. Continue the battle for Justice. Washington loved his visit at plus 800. Daniels, the other top corner, plus 700. Webb, our backup offensive line target, 1050. We also are in the mix for Derek Arnold, the other corner, all of them speedsters. Keith Bell, the athlete, is ready to visit next time. We're able to get a plus 1200 for Grant, the defensive tackle. Chris Brown and Albert Carey is ready to visit. He's our burner at wide receiver. And as we scroll down, Steve Lewis, the defensive tackle, gonna be a reserve guy, only 65 overall, but we get a double commit day after our ODU win this week. Taking a look at Palmer, we're gonna add one to his no fly zone skill. We need some zone coverage help. We're struggling to give up big plays in the pass game all of a sudden. Taking a look at the top 25, the CFP rankings are out. OSU and Michigan, they swap spots as I'm sure that they are going to be in for a major battle. And look who is at number three, 9-0 Troy. One star prestige. They are doing crazy things as they continue to win in advance. Marshall up four spots after a big week up to number nine so we're back in the top 10 as the top two lost team as a bunch of teams including florida state and michigan state lost last week so still a lot to play for we may be looking at a new year's six bowl you just never know uab is on tap next three and four the blazers are hosting us in this one we look like the better team on paper as you know we continue to be a wild card each week as you never know which version of marshall you're gonna get Thanks for the love on this series. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the Marshall content. Let me know you enjoy it. And until next time, I'll catch you. Peace.